and this screencast I will show you how to set up your Mac so you can build .svf files compatible with the Flash Player from Adobe. First, go to hexit.org, then click the download link, pick the OS X Universal Installer, and download it. After downloading it, open it, and install, open the installer. and install it. Say yes. The next thing you can do is to check if Hex installed properly. Open the terminal and type hexa-v and you see you have a Hex 2.07 so it's installed properly. Now when Hex is installed you need an environment to edit and compile your code in. I'm using TextMate and I really recommend you to use that. Go to micromates.com, click the download link and download the 30 day trial. You can always upgrade it to the full version. After downloading, it's quite easy, straightforward, unzip the file. Now when TextMate is installed, you want to customize it so you've got proper syntax highlighting for Hexa and you can compile your code direct from within TextMate. Luckily, there is a bundle for Hexa called Hexa2 underscore bundle. You can download it for free. So you go to GitHub and download it from there. I say download and I download it as a zip. So after downloading it, you go and you have to unzip it. And now you have to remove the last of the intention extension like this. And there you go, you say use text made bundle and now you can install it by double click on it. I already got it installed. Now when everything is installed, it's time to build our first SVF file. You can download the source code from GitHub and open episode 1 and double click on the TextMate project. I have prepared this TextMate project so it will build right out of the box. The only thing you have to do is to select the build file and press command B. And you can see it built properly. You can try to open the index file, it's located here, and you can open it in Firefox or your preferred web browser. So it says, here it is, it says, hello world. Let's go back and have a closer look at the files. So I close this again. So the build file. It starts out by saying where the source code for the project is located. Here it is. You can have multiply folders if you like to. Then it defines the main file. It's this one. And it says the name of the path of the output file. It's inside the bin folder. We have the output file. This is the width of the SVF file, the height the frame rate and the background color and this is the supported version of the flash player for this project. Let's have a closer look at the main file. It's really simple. This is the main class, the main function. It calls new main and has the new file and this is where I trace hello world. Let's try to change that. Hello hexa and I save it and I build it and it goes really fast and if I go back to Firefox and reload it, it says hello hexa. And this is how easy it is to build a SVF file using Hexa.